Hi, I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? You know, as a boxing reporter, a commentator, and a boxing fan, I have to give credit when credit is due. And I'm gonna give credit to boxing writer Jake Donovan of BoxingScene.com for this great article that he just put out today, which was about the Golden Boy versus Premier Boxing situation, the lawsuit, Jake Donovan, he highlighted the racist emails that Golden Boy right now is trying to have excluded from the lawsuit. And he talked about all of these things. It's very refreshing to see boxing reporters do what they're supposed to do, which is report the news. And this obviously was big news. He talked about the Danny Garcia situation or the Angel Garcia situation, how Angel Garcia basically had his little racial meltdown where he continued to use the N-word and he talked about how it was kind of almost ironic that every boxing outlet, every, you know, media member, they basically reported on what Danny Garcia or Angel Garcia said, but yet none of them wanted to report these emails that were basically confiscated for this lawsuit that's pending right now. Now, before I reported it, and a couple other people reported it on YouTube, shouts out to Barbershop Conversations, Ticket TV. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to their channels. But before me and those cats reported this news, the original person or website that reported this news was bloodyelbow.com. And today, one of the biggest websites in the country reported the news as well so you know i'm gonna put the link in the description box but it was a long article it was a great article and what i really really like is the fact that finally we had someone exposing the double standards at least someone on a major website exposing the double standards when it comes to al Heyman. he really talked a lot about the double standards how Al Heyman is criticized for basically doing the same things that Golden Boy Promotions are doing right now. You know, at the end of the day, I want to see all of these promoters, you know, be successful. I want to see all of these promoters put on great fights for the boxing fans. But you have to give credit when credit is due. Because like I said, Jake Donovan, he exposed the double standards. Things that you guys have heard me say about Al Heyman being on a coincidental list since day one. Uh, Jake Donovan he pointed out in this article so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link in the description box and you guys go ahead and check that article out you know I just want to say man we need more of this in the sport of boxing we need more people to basically report the facts and we need more people to expose the double standards when you have people in the sport of boxing that's trying to help the sport grow and everyone is praying for their demise that's not helping the sport of boxing, okay? Now you may be willing to sink a whole ship just to drown one person, but is it really worth trying to drown everybody just to make sure you get Al Heyman in the process? And it's not worth it, it's not worth it. So if you're a real boxing fan, let's start congratulating people who deserve to be congratulated if you guys really want to see the sport of boxing continue to grow. For example, one of the biggest fights this year is what Keith Thurman versus Danny Garcia. Two undefeated champions unifying the belts and it's on free TV. They're talking about Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn possibly being on pay-per-view. Now, Canelo versus Chavez is a good fight, but that fight is going to be on pay-per-view. Keith Thurman versus Danny Garcia 
is on free TV. So when you have fights like that, and you are really a boxing fan, or you say you're a true boxing fan, then prove it. Because actions speak louder than words. So once again, go ahead and check out that article. I'll put the link in the description box. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.